Hello people from all over the world. You're welcome to Artified Optimist. We're at it again today. I have just something very important for you to hear. Now, if you're new to the channel, please quickly subscribe to the channel by using the, the red subscribe button below this video. Just click on it. If you like the video, please share and uh, drop a comment below. All right, and also click the bell notification icon so that anytime I drop new videos, you can have access to these videos. All right, so we have great news for you today. Pastor Adeboye, Karen Placard, leads protest against insecurity killings. The General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye on Sunday, led millions of his church members on a prayer walk to end the spate of insecurity and killings in Nigeria. Adeboye, who had instructed his church members all over Nigeria to observe the walk, commenced the walk from Ebute Meta to Atan Cemetery in Yaba, Metropolis and back. The Christian Association of Nigeria had declared a three-day fasting and prayer to strengthen the military forces in their fight against terrorism and insurgent activities in the country. Can President Dr. Samson Ayo Kunle had said the exercise would end with a prayer walk today, February 2nd. So here we are, people. Pastor Adeboye on the streets going on a march against insecurity in the country. By extension, we think he's marching against uh, bad leadership. Now, what do you think? Could this be a right call for a man of God to stand up and be on the street considering his age? You know, the man is above 70, if I'm not mistaken. What does this hold for our country? It is not every day that we see men of God stand up like this and march into the streets demanding good leadership from our leaders in our government. What does all this pretend to us? I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing that day, but you do this. I might be wrong, but for me, it's the first time. Do you think Adeboye's march today has some sort of spiritual implication for our country? What is the way forward? What is happening? Do you think the man of God has seen something that has made him come out into the streets to march against insecurity? Let me know your thoughts on this. Hit me below in the comment section. Uh, for me, I think it's a sign of a good thing. I think Pastor Debo is trying to pass a message to the people of Nigeria, especially to the men of God. It's time for us to stand up, question our leaders, question the wrongdoings in society, question what's going on, question those who are oppressing the poor, question those who are causing the nation to be in a state of anarchy, question those who are causing the nation to be in a, in a state of poverty and suffering. I think it's a good call if you ask me. I think we need more of this and I think indirectly Adebo is calling on all men of God to stand up and fight for what is right. This time, not a fight with guns, not a fight that shows violence, not a fight with force and arms and swords. No, he's calling for a spiritual force to the battle confronting Nigeria. Maybe the man of God is just trying to tell us that our problems are more than the physical and it's time for us to get spiritual. What do you think? So it's time to stand up everybody, Christians. I think the man of God is most especially calling on Christians to stand up, stand up, do what is right, stand up, Five for what is right. All right, so people, here you go. Please, thanks for staying with me all these years. Thanks for being there by Artified Optimist. Do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button just below this video. Click the bell icon, uh, the bell notification icon if you haven't done that already. And um, share the video. Click the like button if you like the video. And uh, don't forget to drop a comment below. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for your time. Do have a blast. Adios.